Can you see this? What does it say? It says six minutes ago. In today's tutorial, you're going to learn how to calculate time ago in PHP. For some days now, I've been working on real-time standard committing system PHP with edges and jQuery. And time ago is part of the features that I have in the committing system. I decide to share it with you guys. And don't forget, if you have not subscribed, is this button still red? Please hit that red subscribe button and turn on your notification icon bell to all okay so you receive my notification once i release new videos so without wasting much of our time let's get to the code right away the first thing we're going to be doing here is to set our default time zone okay um using the function date underscore default time zone set function okay then you're going to pass uh a string here if you're in africa you add africa for slash the name of the city so first thing you write is your continent and this uh the city that you're in right so if you're in america you add america for slash los angeles if you're in los angeles if you're in ghana you add africa for slash ghana if you're in india asia okay you add asia for slash kokata to be precise so for this tutorial i'm going to be i mean currently in africa so i'm going to add africa for slash lagos so uh, set our uh, time zone then um we're going to be using a date function in this tutorial so uh for example the format is in date function or we'll have uh year then month day hours minutes then seconds okay that's the format it should be in so i'm going to just going to comment that out then I'm going to define a variable called a time, okay, where I will set my date function. All right, so for my year is 2020, then month, day, hours, minutes, maybe seconds, let me just add 30 seconds, okay. So we have defined that variable. So I'm going to define a custom function called a time ago function. So it's a public function. So I'll name it function keyword. The name of the function, I'll give it the name of what time ago. Then pass two arguments. The first one is the variable time. Then second one is tense. Right? So this time I'm going to just give it a string value of a go. Right, so so next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to be declaring periods as a static function variable for feature use. So I'll use the word static keyword, then a variable of what periods. Now this is where I'll be passing the year, month, day, hour, minutes, second. Okay, in array. So I'll use array function. First is year, then month, day, hour, supposed to be in a string, hour, minutes, uh, what else do we have? A second. Second, okay. All right. Next, thing I'm going to do. I'm going to check the time format, okay, which uh, is being gotten from this variable, okay, because it's supposed to be in a date function. So I'll use an if statement now. If um, if it is not in a string to time function pass the time variable okay so i'm going to check if it is not greater than zero then return so i'm going to use a trigger underscore error okay to return the error trigger underscore error function so i'll just say wrong time 
format okay so this will be checking if it is in this format only right if it's coming in any other format it will return this error all right so wrong format then you can just pass the time format which we got okay um the error type you can specify the error type to be user error okay so the error is coming from the user the date format doesn't match with what we checked so that is it what we're going to be doing now is to get the time difference between now the current time and the time that is coming from this variable okay so we'll define a new variable call it now and use new keyword with date time okay date time function then we'll pass a class of what now so this will get the current timestamp okay then our variable time with new date time function they will pass the uh, time variable so this time variable is coming from here so this one is coming from here okay which has a new variable of same time all right so now the difference define a variable call it diff then our noun variable accessing the div function okay of time okay this will get the difference and also format that we're going to format it to remove extra spaces okay so use format function they will add percentage for the year so this is going to remove extra spaces just in case if that was gotten from the time then month and day it's also format that in that order hours minutes and seconds okay the next thing is to combine the difference with the uh, period okay so uh, variable div will explode it okay after explosion first parameter will leave it as empty then we'll pass our div variable okay use explode empty dot then our the variable so this the variable is coming from here all right so we're now going to combine our period with our difference okay the format so this period going to combine this with this in array all right so we're going to use array underscore combine function to do that so define another uh, variable still call it div array underscore combine okay so periods first parameter then div so next up is to filter zero periods from the the, uh, the, div, the difference okay so still div use function is called array underscore filter okay this is going to remove zero periods then div all right so that is it so next thing up is now to make use of key function okay the key function simply returns the key of the array elements all right that's currently being pointed to by the internal pointer all right it does not move the pointer in any way if the internal pointer points beyond the end of the element list or the array is empty the key function will return null value okay so define a variable new variable call it period 
then key function then pass our different okay so we're also going to use um, a, very, a function called current function okay this will return the value of the current element that is an array okay that is in this array the current value which should be maybe the one day the two minutes or whatever okay so if anybody call it value current function then pass our div all right so now we're going to check if input time if it was equal to now then the value will automatically be zero so to check that we use an if um if statement so if it is not value okay this will show that the the time function gotten is just now all right so uh, what i'm going to do here is just to the for the period it will have an empty string okay uh, remember our period is usually this is our period okay this is our period right which is also coming from here so remember what i said earlier if the input time from this value is now normally it will be zero but i want to add a string of just now okay if you understand what that means so empty string then our tense remember initially our tense is a go so i will want that so we'll just leave it at empty string as well don't worry when i dive into texting you understand all this better then value value i want the value now to be just now okay else else um what i'm going to do here is to convert use an if statement first thing i'll convert our days to weeks okay so for the period for the variable period day okay with day string and the value if, we, if it is greater or equal to seven so if that condition is true then our period will now be what week okay then then our value since you know, the value is up to seven that means it's like seven days then our value will be what um value divided by seven okay so we're going to be using a floor function which runs a number down to the nearest integer if necessary and returns the result okay so floor function then the value we just divided by seven okay so that is just it then use another if statement if if the value is greater than one if the value is greater than one um what i want to do here i want to add like an s to the period for human readability okay to this as you can see our period is just year month day hour minutes so what if it was two day two days okay it will echo out two day so i want it to be like two days so for that reason if the value is greater than one okay then what we're going to do here is to 
or a period will now be concatenated with equal to just add a string of what s okay so that's just it okay i think it would be best if i leave this here okay it's okay so we're going to return the function time ago right so this function which closed here we are now going to return it return keyword the value of what the value variable the period and the tense which is a go remember tense is a go okay so this will return this function the value which might be one two or whatever period which could be year months days weeks time minutes seconds just now okay if the value is if is zero if it's it will show us just just now All right so that is it so i'm going to Define a variable, just call it time ago. Then our function time ago custom function. I will now pass this variable of time. This time will now come there. Okay. So then echo, just echo the result. The time ago variable all right so we're going to be testing that right now and when I refresh the page boom that five minutes ago as you can see so this is my time oh, this is 10 16 and if you head over here you can see it's 10 52 okay so it's about correct so if I change this time to maybe 10.52 save that refresh two seconds ago see so if I also take this to 2019 then refresh that one year ago okay 2019 to 2020 is one year ago then if I take that to 2000 save that and refresh 20 years ago have you seen how i just added this is where the the string s came in okay if the value is greater than one it will append this s all right so that is just that so what if our time format is wrong something like this and save that refresh that we still have the same thing okay so if i clean this up till now and refresh still have the same thing so if it's in this format it's going to work but if it's in a different format maybe there's an at or whatever maybe something like this refresh that you're going to get an error okay wrong time format and it's showing okay so that is just it so refresh that again one minute ago all right um what of in the case of just now so to be able to get that my time now is 10 54 so i'm just going to add 10 54 here which is might be more than the time that we have so if I refresh this, keep doing that, it's good to continue coming down. I just want to get to a point of just now. Okay. Keep doing that, keep doing that. Just now, as you can see. Alright. So if you have...
an application where you post content or comment system when a user comments it will just echo just now so after some seconds if you check that again it will be what the new time uh time ago which is what 16 seconds so if you learned a new tune please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet and i will see you on the next one just like i told you earlier i'm working in a real-time standard commenting system when i'm done with it i'm going to show you guys the demo is just exactly like youtube you're going to love it so make sure you stick with me okay i'll see you on the next one